what was your favorite season of the show and why? I've been saying a lot to people <clears throat> today that, um, you know, like, it's impossible when you're so close to something to gain any kind of objective perspective on how it's being received and how people are enjoying it, the way that in, w in which they're enjoying it. And um, the other thing about filming stuff is that, um, I know it sounds really obvious, but um, you, when you're making the first season of something, you don't know what the result is and it's not been seen by anyone. So, um, you know, you, we, we were making season one. You, you, you make the first season of things in a vacuum. Um, you, you don't know what the result of what you're doing on set. And, and so you're just sort of enjoying creating that world for the sake of creating it. When you get to season two and three, you, you've seen it come out. You see what, and you go back on the sets and you, you go back into the Hall of Mirrors and you've got all of this imagery in your head from watching the first season of, okay, well, I, I sort of know how this scene is going to come across now because I've seen how it's presented. And it's just a different thing. And that first season was so special, like Stuart says, because we were, we were discovering these characters, that world, us as actors in Paris, like, It was um, it was amazing, amazing moment. Like I felt like I'd been doing it for 10 years. There were some photos I was looking back on my phone from like October or November 2014. And we'd been doing the show for like two or three months. And it felt like I'd been in Paris. I remember taking that photo at that time, feeling like I'd been with this character and this world for years. And it had been, <laughs> it had been like two months. It's crazy how intense it was. So you went from playing Athelstan on Vikings to Louise on Versailles in a swift transition. How did you get into the mindset to play such a radically different character? Um, <clears throat> yes. I, um, I got a wig. I've just got a wig and they put a moustache on me. It's pretty simple, really. <laughs> um, uh, it's true, though. Like, um, no, I, I, there was a bit of back and forth as well. I had to go back halfway through season one to shoot some stuff on Vikings um, to finish up. But um, it it was just uh, mental, really. But pressure is a great um, thing. I, I I definitely work better under pressure. I think anyone who's worked a little bit in theatre, I think that's sort of their default. Um, working under pressure gets much better results than feeling like you're in a comfort zone. And that 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 period in 2014, I just felt like I was on a train that was going and um came to france and um i also didn't have time basically they'd run out of time they'd spent three years looking for someone to play louis it was six weeks before the start of the shoot they hadn't found anyone they found me in my tape and went he'll do get him over here <laughs> so i had i found out about six weeks before the shoot and so i didn't have like you know months to read every book on louis the 14th and um prep the character like maybe I would have done had you had that time. Um, so it was kind of just gut instinct and, um, you know, making it my own as well. Like everyone on set had an opinion about who this man was. Uh, and that's quite sort of um, inhibiting. If you can hear whispered conversations after every take of people being like, well, you'd never do that. Um, <laughs> so trying to like just uh find the confidence to 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 do your own thing was my major challenge in season one and I, i'll be honest i don't think i achieved it a lot of the time like definitely sometimes i was relying on directors to steer me in the right direction and sometimes with hindsight i think they got it slightly wrong and but that's the beautiful thing about art and you know so was it easier for you to wear the character's clothes or could you like pull off the court of Louis in jeans and sneakers? I've said that I found the costume and the hair very, very helpful to the point that like, I think that it is part of the character creation. Um, like I, gen I genuinely um, would use that process in the morning to, to find him. Does that make sense? That's What do you think the, of the evolution of your characters throughout the series? Yeah, like the, the major problem um, 
that you have what what, <clears throat> what they created uh, was an ensemble show. So they created, you know, a building full of characters that we all root for and we want to spend time with. And that's a great premise. Like, look at any other successful te television series. They all have that ingredient. Um, but the problem is that you have to put in to, like 10 times as much effort to nurture all of those characters that you're presenting and you know writing teams changed and um it, like Stuart's saying that care and attention that maybe you saw in season one about giving these characters <clears throat> um kind of a lot of weight and and detail in all of these different avenues that they were setting up maybe didn't happen I, it's harder though like I, i'm I, <laughs> I'll, I'm sure we'll both admit that, like, the more the more that you create and the more that you write, the more characters came in in season two and three. With the more people that you put in that show, the harder it becomes to. You see, yeah, and uh, to be fair, you see that on every series. Like that, the, they overextend the character arcs and the relationships. I, I think like uh, all the actors did a fantastic job at. You know, I, I hear what you're saying about like, you know, the development in season three, it just wasn't structured. But like we were saying earlier, the audience don't see or know that. And I'm sure the audience would have yeah. looked at the character of Bonton and seen the journey that you went on with it. Like all, all of the actors went on. Um, <clears throat> and I think that is commendable because that's not easy. Like there are lots of TV shows that, you know, they cast actors who don't have that ability like you say like the they can't write those journeys because the actors aren't able to take a character on a journey like that i think am i wrong here i i feel like a lot of us did that in season three even if it wasn't in the right way there's still there's still evolution there's still growth there isn't the audience aren't watching that show in season three being like wow okay all of these people have checked out mentally <laughs> You know um uh so yeah. speaking of writing and character development um what would you have liked to see in a potential fourth season of the show i, I find that very interesting being part of it mm. i'm trying to think if i was watching this series and i wasn't in it and then they did season four and they jumped 200 years and they'd use the same actors and put them in different roles like i I find that very interesting because that involves me <laughs> but I don't, I, I'd love to know from the audience they can't talk back. Talking about music what are your favorite musical artists? My wife yes. Yeah. No she's a very good singer. 